Why are we going to October 22nd right now? This is Why? just for you. This is just to put you in an awkward spot. Okay, it's the not this day in history. Why would you do this to me? The longest Why would you? It's August 8th. And, and, <laughs> yeah, it's just so me. Every, we had been this so This was warm. in honor of you I'd been very kind. <laughs> I'd been very complimentary. I threw the crystals Everything was out really of my warm. pocket. And then they were like, this is how bad your life is, Dustin. <gasps> but no, so here's the spin. Let's go Ted Lasso on this thing and ask, is this the year that you guys finally? No. No. Of course <laughs> I mean, drought. statistically <laughs> speaking, no, of course not. I mean, this isn't like the first you time we've believe? had a good team since 2001. <laughs> we've been pretty back. good. We've been pretty good uh, along the line. There's been some great teams. We've missed it by Such a, a game. Team. It's a, I hope, I hope. There's a difference between hope and belief, though, right? Do I think it's going to happen? Again, we're getting kind of philosophical here. This I like is, all yeah, the center. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Do I hope it happens? You better believe it. And I'll be in the stands uh, probably third deck. I don't do that well financially uh, if we do get there. <laughs> the you, suites, know? you mean third deck in the suite? Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Oh, I think you cares. underestimate how well my comedy career is going. Uh, or overestimate, <laughs> I should say. You know, I'm not on first pitch level yet, but... <laughs> Oh, you and Joel McHale. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's thrown out three. Come on, we got to get you in the mix. I, you know, and I'd like to think that I could do okay next to Joel. I'd like to, I, I, I think. Yeah. I'm sure you could. You know, he's got the length, you know, so he'll probably, his will look a lot more athletic. Football. Yeah, you know, I think he was a walk on, though. Let's not get carried <laughs> away. Uh, <laughs> you know, let's, and it, those weren't UW's peak years. So I'm just trying to stir up a little drama here this to get good. the invite. Yeah, yes. just get the clips. It's going to go better than you think. I'm deceptively athletic. That's, look into that's that camera. Say. Look into your single between two ferns and make your case. For to throw what? Out the to first the first pitch in Seattle. I mean, we have, haven't made the playoffs since 2001. I'm the level of celebrity you can get right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're obviously doing something right. The last time you came on the show, what, yeah, what did you say? Yeah, I'm the good luck charm. I, we go on winning streaks if, I'm, if I make an appearance, Ty. If I throw out the first pitch, we'll never... You guys never, are winning at all. Yeah, Wait, we'll never... Let me ask you, how do you feel about, okay, this team went out and got the best pitcher available yeah. at the trade deadline? Yep. Like, does that ultimately say this is our, this is our year? I mean, it's going to hurt more. <laughs> It's going to hurt. <laughs> this is the difference between real Seattle or Seattle sports fans that go back. Because this isn't just a Mariners thing. This is a Seahawks thing. This is our best team was the Sonics, and the Sonics are gone. Oh. This is all of it. Oh. It's just a painful sports city. I love so this the is how too. Some I know. Sean, some Sean Kemp, some yeah. Gary Payton. Yeah, and you oh. know what they did? They got the one seed and then lost to the eight seed twice. <laughs> and then they left. Trauma. Like dad going to get some cigarettes around the corner that never came back. So you know what? I've got a little pain here. Forgive me. I would love for this new team to change everything. I would love it so much. But until it happens, I, I can't. Do you have a favorite player on the squad right now? Right now? Um, probably JP. Crawford. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. smooth. Yeah, he's nasty. Yeah, yeah just too. the glove. And he's been there a minute, and he's grown up in the franchise, and he feels like kind of like a segue player. And because Julio, and then it's great, Hanniger's back now, but because other players do get a little more of the headlines, I think Crawford is uh, very underrated. And Ty France was an all star and stuff. I, like Crawford's great. I think, to you, real quick, to his point, like the defense is really underrated with Seattle. It's the best, it's the best defense in the American really, League. Like, we don't yeah. talk enough about the defense. Shout out to Perry Hill over there who's uh, over there doing the infield work. I worked with him with the Marlins. Like, they're killing it right now. Yeah. They, they could possibly have a couple, three gold glovers over there. This is honestly such a fun team, but you're right. It's very underrated. And I mean, Keith, we're all here in the Northeast, so it's, it's really tough just to stay awake for those games, let alone, you know, I saw them in the Bronx. I went to two out of three of those games. <laughs> yeah. They're How'd good. Go? Keith, Keith was woke. They're good. Yeah. Woke. Yeah. I, I, I physically saw it with Cole. my own eyes. Cole. And we're about to run it back in uh, Seattle tonight and tomorrow. Uh, and the next we'll watch every pitch, and we will see what happens.